Hi guys, Bridget with Geek Responsibly here. You might be wondering why I'm reaching out to you personally via video today, and you also might be wondering, where's Jenna? Well, let me tell you, uh, Jenna is currently editing our uh, most recent podcast and cursing my name as we ran into um, microphone issues this week. Um, there is a little bit of me cutting in and out, and because of this, we are Frankensteining our episode for you. Uh, we weren't sure how much uh, our listeners and our viewers wanted to have that Godzilla, Godzilla, you know, movie feel where you like you see me talking, but then words come out somewhere else. So I wanted to reach out to you guys personally and apologize for uh, the technical difficulties we are having this week, but we are giving you the episode to you guys. And uh, yeah, so we look forward to bringing you new content, getting our shit together and being on track next week. So in the meantime, always remember to geek responsibly and check your mics. All right. So with that, we are going to go into, do you want to take this one? So the next segment we created yesterday, being all excited, is Hollywood and scene. And this essentially, <laughs> it made these to sound kind of dirty. You have to do this. Hollywood end scene. Oh, yes. Hollywood end scene. Uh, essentially, we wanted to have another segment to talk about movies. all things movies, but also Hollywood. Talking about directors, actors, all this fun stuff. Because one of our favorite actors. Jenna Reeves. <laughs> no. Oh. Because we, what? I don't even know how many episodes ago it was. We were talking about. Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, and I take a second to say this because now the other name is embedded. So we are finding all this stuff about Benedict Cumberbatch, but we found this amazing nickname that I can't get out of my head. So now I instantly want to call him Butternut Crinkle Fries. <laughs> and so now every time I think of him, I'm like, oh, it's Butternut Crinkle Fries, but it's actually Benedict Cumberbatch. Which we made an awesome picture and I will post we'll share. it. You're welcome. Butternut crinkle fries. Butternut <laughs> crinkle fries. Butternut crinkle fries. <laughs> Butternut crinkle fries. So essentially today we wanted this for this week. We're spotlighting uh, Godzilla because I actually ended up seeing it. Uh, it was the first thing I did coming back from Rome when I was lying and telling everyone I wasn't here. So I came back, slept super late because I was on the wrong time, got up and went and saw Godzilla. Um, go, go, Godzilla. <laughs> So my thing with not just Godzilla, but movies in general is the rating system. Freaking Rotten Tomatoes because... Yeah, what'd they give it? I don't know. I think oh. Mark knows it, but he was... Very, that and Dark Phoenix, he was really tentative of seeing good, 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 good scores. And I don't really know if you have to bribe Rotten Tomatoes because I've seen movies where they're like, oh, it's amazing and it's shite. Or you see something where they rated it really badly and you're like, oh, well, I went to see it and I loved it. So it makes me wonder how much you should really rely on Rotten Tomatoes versus yeah. going and seeing something because you want to see it. The other thing is you have to realize that they like something specific and they're... I think they're I getting don't, paid. They might get paid. They're getting yeah. paid. F that. You're paying off Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, because I still want to go see Dark Phoenix, but I hear it's getting horrible reviews. Steve went. I haven't been. Oh, we can ask him. We should do something like Steve says. And then ask. Um, yeah. So we should... What was I going to talk about? Godzilla. That's right. So, um, he can't pay attention it wasn't, to me. It wasn't rated greatly, but we decided to go. So we went in with low expectations. And as far as like a spoiler, th I guess there's not really a spoiler. Sorry. Spoiler free. Go. Um, now he, his ears open. Hey, Steve. What does Steve say? Did you like uh, Dark Phoenix? Did you like Dark Phoenix? Uh, there wasn't really a story to it. You're not, you're not getting picked up. You got to oh, come over here. He doesn't have to. Oh, no. okay. No, fine. I was just like, hey, Steve, how was Dark Phoenix? There's not really a story. You're going, you're talking too much. How was good. Dark Phoenix? Good, not good. Eh. He shrugged. <laughs> Steve, you're going to be part of a segment called Hey, Steve. Okay. And then you just give like super small answers. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, he, he said, said that it was. His answer eh. was this. <laughs> He said it was entertaining. Okay. So as far as Godzilla, um, it's kind of almost the same. Really? It, what about 11? 11? 
Wasn't um Oh, Stranger Things, got it. Uh she did amazing. So Godzilla was more focused on people than it was monsters. Okay. And well, that's kind of a bummer. With the first one with the whole guy like let them fight. I really wished they let them fight more. Um <laughs> but the problem with Godzilla that I my personal problem that I had with with Godzilla is as I was sitting watching the movie, at some point during the movie, I thought to myself, I could get up and leave. Wow. Like, I was like, eh. All right. Like, I lost. I Like, you know how movies will bring you in? Like, you watch Avengers, right? And you're in there for three hours. And you're like, holy shit, this is going to be forever. But the whole time you're in there, you're in it. You're like in it. It brings you in. You're in that universe. You're in a different world. We talked, talked about, about it. Yeah. I didn't some, even have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. At some point during Godzilla, I... It was like an outer body experience where instead of being into the movie, I'm like sitting there watching myself watch the movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's one of those. So I'm not, not saying it wasn't entertaining because it was entertaining. It was, it, I thought it was a good movie, but it, at one point in the movie, I'm just like, Oh, I'm watching a movie. Not that I, I, I stepped out of the universe. Something pulled me out of it. And I don't know if it was like some slow moments that were happening, but just something pulled me out of the movie. And I was like, Oh, I'm not like, not in that universe with them. So, yeah, that's a horrible review, isn't it? Sorry, guys. Well, that just <laughs> means that God, Gashira, and Dark Phoenix kind of I potentially still, were a flop. But here's the thing. Well, Dark Phoenix, I heard, made, like, no money. Really? really? Like, no money in the first oh. week. Like, it was bad. But that's the thing. I don't really want that to be something that makes me go, well, I don't want to see it. But my husband's like, well, what's the point of even seeing it if it has a bad review? I'm like, well, you might like it. It might be enough where you're like entertained. It, it, it might. Are you also not entertained? Cause, are you not entertained? Yeah. You, it may be something that needs to be placed in there for the universe. I don't know. I don't know. You, you know, like. I'm going to go. I want to go see it to support Sansa. I love Sophie Turner. Because I want to see her and go, hey, girl, hey. Like, I want to. I, I like to see that she's doing something Hollywood else. And doing something. Yeah. yeah. And she's not being typecast. Like, don't play this role again. Play something else. Um. So, I, I mean, I want to see it. But as far as Godzilla goes, I enjoyed it. It was definitely more human-based, not necessarily monster-based. But when the monsters were there, it was great. And it reminded me of, like, old Godzilla movies. Like, there was a spot where this uh, one of the monsters gets, like, blown over. And it, like, falls over. But it almost is, like, animated falling over like it was a dude in a suit. And he, like, hits a power line. I was like, yes! Oh, like, it's, yes! It's, it's, it reminded me of, like, the older Godzilla. But nice. Would I watch it again? Probably not for a while. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I have for Hollywood. All right. That works for me. 